There are still so many details to come in this developing story. The investigation, as mentioned, is in its very earliest stages and it is massive in scope. Jesse Thomas has been on the road covering this for us all day and he joins us now live from Enfield, Nova Scotia with more. Jesse, what's the latest? Hi, thanks, Sarah. Yes, I'm here uh, at the scene where the manhunt, uh, the pursuit ended here outside of the big stop in Enfield. As we know, it was 12 hours earlier overnight in the small community of Cobequid Bay, uh, just west of Truro, uh, where things began. It was uh, that call that we heard RCMP members say came in in the town of port pic last night when, po when police initially sent out a tweet alerting that there was a firearms complaint in the area. And they were asking people at that time uh, in the vicinity to stay in their homes. Now, neighbors did report seeing two or even three fires in that area around 11:30 last night that's in port of pick now police were on the scene there all night and then this morning that's when it turned into an active shooter situation uh, eventually police they did identify the shooter as 51 year old gabriel wartman and warned he may be armed and dangerous now police continued to tweet updates on his location including in locations like glenholm wentworth de birch shubenacadie they warned uh, the public that he was driving what appeared to be an rcmp vehicle and was wearing an rcmp uniform now, as police pursued him, we know that he switched vehicles on occasions, uh, even getting into a smaller silver SUV at one point. Uh, now, I was at uh, several sites today, beginning here at Enfield, where uh, things ended, but did a backtrack going over those hundreds of uh, kilometers, retracing some of the steps where this manhunt played out. And I can tell you, um, at a scene in DeBert today, the roadway was still closed. RCMP officers on standby there. There was a car in a ditch uh, on the side of the road with caution tape around it. Further up the road was another SUV on the side of the road with uh, what appeared to be a body uh, underneath a bag. And that was in DeBert. From there, uh, we traveled up the highway, up uh, past Mastown, up Highway 4 into Wentworth. There was another uh, police roadblock on Highway 4 between uh, Plains Road and Tatamagoosh Road. There was another body that uh, we witnessed on the side of the road under a tarp. And, and so, so these scenarios kept playing out more, more and more as, as we followed these steps. It was just uh, the tragedy and the carnage that followed. And as we know now from this press conference, we're hearing some more details. We don't know exactly how many people at this point died. We do know, of course, the RCMP officer. Officer. Um, but as, as, as we were following it this morning, Sarah, I will tell you that driving along Highway 102, there were many dozens of RCMP officers positioned along the way. And at one point, uh, probably 25 cruisers uh, zoomed by me, kind of in the Shubenacadie area. And uh, a police helicopter was going overhead. And so I knew we were close to the situation. As we came back here to Enfield, I saw the police uh, helicopter land just over on the side of the highway. And uh, police descended on this area. As you see behind me, the gas station uh, was all taped off and eventually that's where another body uh, uh, lay dead and um, here we are now uh, Sarah what can I say it's been a, a long day and the crime scene spreads throughout the province it's it's tragic we don't know the amount of deaths at this point but uh, we do know that this tragedy has touched many families here in Nova Scotia uh, for now uh, I'll send it back to you at the desk Thank you so much, Jesse. That is Global's Jesse Thomas reporting live tonight from Enfield, Nova Scotia, where things ended early this morning.